kind of go to the next part. Can you pull up the Tim Pool uh, tweet, please, if you don't mind, Rob? Uh, uh, it's it's right at one of the top tweets that I have. I've left it on for a while for people to uh, uh, enjoy and watch. Just go to this my profile. This is yesterday, Pat? This is yesterday. So the announcement was made. Go a little lower and just show the Tim Pool tweet first, if you don't mind. Zoom in. So Tim Pool, the announcement is made with Chris Cuomo. Huge F up. Chris Cuomo faked being in COVID lockdown. His brother is a murderer. No redemption arc. PBD Go CNN is very disappointing, right? Now, this is after, if you can show the picture at the bottom, with us uh, showing that Chris Cuomo joins Valuetainment. So go up and uh, show what I responded to, to uh, Tim Pool. My response was, Tim, I trust capitalism. One of these days, the market will wake up and realize what our vision was all along. I'm extremely comfortable being misunderstood before the market va- validates our vision. I respect your impatience with our vision. In the meantime, keep kicking ass. Here's Tim Pool. The guy is... Very good at what he does. Sincerely, he's very good at what he does. Incredible communicator. And the way he communicates, it's very like he doesn't lag eight minutes of getting to the point. He just kind of goes, Rum! he goes like this. And he's, he's, he's just very, very good. We had him over at the house. One that we had on the podcast, I invited him over to the house. Afterwards, we fed his entire people. We sat down. We talked. Really enjoyed talking to this guy. And he invited me to one of his events that we went to. And I think we were there together. Right? The what a great we experience. Yeah, in Miami. What a great Miami. experience. Great event. Now, he did it live. So I have no comments on what to say about Tim Pool. Tim, keep kicking ass. You're phenomenal at what you do. I respect your game. Let me kind of uh, paint a picture of Chris Cuomo. Here's how I work. Since I was a kid being raised in a manipulative games Manship environment of two parents divorcing and trying to see which kid is going to go to which side and then escaping Iran, going to refugee camp, coming to the States, going to the army, trying to figure out a way to get along with everybody while I'm Middle Eastern in the army. Everybody's black, Hispanic, white and Puerto Rican. And who the hell is this Iranian guy? A lot of them had never met an Iranian before because they're from South Dakota, North Dakota, whatever all these other places are. I have to always watch and kind of size people up. I've been in a business of sizing people up for a long time. Then I go into sales, and then I go into insurance. And in the insurance business, you have to watch everybody because everybody's like, oh, you're so phenomenal and flattery, and you learn about flattery bullshit, and you're so this and you're so that. No problem. Okay, sounds good. Then you go into insurance, and you build a business, and you start working with people, and you see some people just want to use you and take advantage of you, and that's no problem. You learn that as well. And then eventually, some of the people you thought were going to be your best guys that were fully loyal to you, they backstab you. Some of the people you thought were the ones that would never ba- w- would backstab you ended up being your most loyal guys. And the market's going to confuse you a lot. This is how the market works. You can't, because you're not God. You can't look at somebody, know exactly what that person's going to be doing. Trump fired God knows how many different people. Elon Musk fired God knows how many different people. Bezos, a couple years ago, lost his entire C-suite executive team, CFO. There is nobody in the world that knows how to pick 100% of them right. Nobody. Having said that, let me bring it back. My first conversation when I watched uh, Chris, we've criticized Chris a lot on this podcast. And if, if Chris comes from somewhere where he's going to go back to doing that, we did it on the podcast this week live when we were with Candace. I'm like, dude, you, are you trolling? Are you really saying we don't need an idea? What are you talking about, right? <clears throat> when you're saying you don't need an idea and Candace and all this stuff, we're having this civil conversation. We're having this debate. My experience with him behind closed doors has been great. He's very good to the kids. He's very respectful to my wife. I watch how he is around the girls in our office, uh, never above and beyond. He's very civil. The other day we were together to 5.30 in the morning. His wife's like, what time are you guys getting going? 5.30. How much have you guys been drinking? Babe, I'm getting home at 5.30, and we had zero drinks all night. I, and with 25 of us. Yeah, nobody. So it's like, what do you, who, get, who the hell gets home at 5.30 and doesn't drink? Yeah. <laughs> this is who we are. And in life, Tim, this is the one thing you need to realize. There's two different types of people, okay? There are those who impose their values on others and change them. And then there are those who have stronger values that impose on others. If you don't, enjoy, like my values and principles are not changing. This is who I am. I'm not breaking. If you come into my environment and that makes you feel uncomfortable, you will not be in this environment long term. Meaning, if you don't do respect well, if you don't respect the woman in the environment well, if you don't, if you're somebody that drinks in, in front of me and you lose control and your lips are like this, if you're somebody that does drugs, if you're somebody that acts like a clown, if you're somebody that can't do debate, you're just not going to like me. 
So, so this relationship right off the bat will not work out if you're somebody that does that. That's the reason why I think Don Lemon and Elon Musk had a fallen out because Elon is like straight up, this is what I'm all about, bro. What do you think Elon's sitting there and other people are changing Elon's mind? No, Elon is imposing his beliefs on others and is getting others to question themselves. This doesn't mean that Elon walks on water. This doesn't mean that Elon is 100% right. It just means the guy's convictions about his beliefs are stronger than other people's convictions. That's why he's changing the world. We are that way. Our relationship with Chris, having people here, the reason why I'm kind of having this conversation and bringing folks from sides that we disagree with is because we need more debate. The moment more of us keep talking and we're all agreeing on everything, the conversation is over. The more you have people around you that you're not and you're debating and people are watching, there's a reason why the live that we did with Candace and, uh, and Chris was a number one live worldwide that day. Why? Because the world is saying, I don't want echo chambers. I'm sick of it. And there's echo chambers for Republicans. There's echo chambers for Democrats. There's echo chambers for independents. There's echo chambers for LeBron James fans. There's echo chambers for Michael Jordan fans. There's echo chambers for every single topic. And I value debate. That's why we're excited about this partnership. How it's going to work out long term, short term. I have no clue. Chris may screw up. Chris may make a mistake and it doesn't work out. Chris may use us and go do something else. I don't think he's going to do that because we've had some incredible conversations together. We've had some phenomenal. There's like a brotherhood when we're together. You feel it. It's not an act. Off camera. You just feel that moment that we have. But if he values that, we'll be running together for a very long time to come. If he doesn't, I'm okay with that. Okay, we're not compromising our vision. We're going to roll for a very, very long time. And all, when I pray... And I'm asking God, bring the right people here that help us unify America. Simple. It doesn't mean help us make more money. Help us unify America, and we need the right leadership team. That's our vision, and that's my reaction to it. And Tim, I want you to criticize us as much as you want. I welcome it. I respect it. I appreciate it, because if we have any kind of blind spots, I want to see it. But it doesn't mean you're right. The market's going to determine who's right or wrong. And by the way, that's going to take about 10 to 20 years, but we are very patient. Okay.